ChrisWahabiKing.com, and we've got a new flight controller we're going to talk about. Uh, it's actually the uh, Thunder QQ, and the forms is known as the QQ controller. Now, it's a uh, basic flight controller, meaning it only has one flight mode, but in that flight mode, it does amazingly great. Uh, it's extremely stable. It's fantastic uh, flight controller. A lot of people love them. Now, what I mean by basic is, is because it only does support that one flight mode, and it's an extremely easy uh, flight controller to set up. You basically just uh, take the two-sided tape, you stick it down, one button to uh, the program, uh, the, uh, the transmitter calibration, and, uh, and that's pretty much it. It has uh, one potentiometer to adjust your gains. Now, the reason it can get away with just one potentiometer is that it does have a 32-bit processor. It has a very fast loop, and because of that, it can correct for overshoot and a couple other things. Uh, so you pretty much just have to set the type. Uh, it's got four dip switches on there. You just set up the type of copter, whether it be a uh, quad or a hex, if it's in plus or X mode, and the type of receiver you have. Now, as far as receivers, it uh, will pretty much take anything. And the cool feature about this is it does take S bus in, as well as a DSM style uh, satellite receiver, whether it be a DSM-2 or DSM-X. And if we zoom in on this, we can see We've got a small uh, sat just plugged right into there, so we've got no receiver coming in. Now, if you're running a standard uh, uh, style um, receiver, uh, you go ahead and have Elron elevator and rudder and throttle put in right over here. And it comes with that uh, adapter, so you can plug those in. It doesn't use a fifth channel because, like I said, it only does support the one single auto level flight mode. Uh, and then it also takes S bus in, so it pretty much covers the entire range of receivers. On this one, you can do a super clean install with just the, uh, the uh, DSM-2 uh, satellite right on into it and uh, right here is your gain and then that's your set switch which allows you to do a couple different functions within the uh, the manual itself plug in your motors and that's pretty much it you can have a multi-rotor up and flying in less than 10 minutes uh, assuming the frame is built just putting it in calibrating it and, and having it up in the air if you read in the forums a lot of people love this it's extremely stable uh, it's great for people that are just uh, uh, getting into multi-rotors as well as others that are doing more of like a camera ship where they want the auto level feature and another nice thing is is that it limits the bank angle as well well, I believe about 35 degrees. So it allows you to uh, push the sticks all the way over and once it hits that point, it won't go past it. So it will not uh, do acro modes, it will not roll over. But because of that, you can just fly it around. A uh, really great uh, yaw response on it. And the best part about it is it's just super cheap. So if you're wanting to get into uh, multi-rotors and uh, you know, you're, you're not uh, too up on PID tuning and some of these more advanced flight controllers, um, but you wanna build your own multi-rotor, this controller is for you. It's cheap, it's easy, it's simple. It's pretty much plug it in, 10 minutes you're up and flying, and, uh, and that's it. Uh, it's up on the new items page. You can jump on the forums and check them out. A lot of people have been extremely successful with them. Um, I've got this one set up on this. We'll go ahead and just uh, take it off. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will definitely see you next time.